So, wanted to show you the Google Fiber um, network box configuration page. You can see we're at uh, 192.168.1.1. That's the gateway uh, IP into the network box. Um, not much to see here yet. Uh, apparently, a lot of the settings are changed again from the My Fiber website, which is not active yet. Um, Google says they'll get that up in a week or two. Um, but there is this uh, little network overview so let's go check that out now this just kind of tells you what um, equipment is attached to your network um, so we can see we've got a couple uh, devices including um, this phone that I'm using and is another tablet connected to the KCSV um, uh, network SSID uh, I believe this one is the 5 gigahertz again we didn't name them appropriately so we can't see uh, and then these devices are all hardwired um, or have been hardwired in, um, I believe. I really don't understand how, how they separate these things out. I do know this thing that says computer is the actual Netgear router. Uh, and then this thing here is the uh, network uh, IP phone from upstairs. Uh, this is my laptop, uh, which is not hardwired in, um, but it is connected to this guy. Uh, the R6300 via wireless AC still. So anyway, interesting how they lay it out. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot log in because I don't have access to my Fiverr website and I don't have this these credentials to log in, which would be nice. So I plan to contact um, Google Support on tomorrow or Monday to figure out. Um, so there you have it. Uh, we will um, share this thing, these speed tests with everybody. And if you have any questions, let us know. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, also, if you have any idea of why we're not getting true gigabit wireless speeds uh, via wireless AC or even faster speeds via wireless N, please let us know your thoughts. Um, I presume, presume it has something to do with the components, um, but also probably... Um, uh, just something else because I you know, was expecting to see maybe at least 450, even wireless end. Um, thanks, y'all.